Hello guys and welcome to the first recap video of April. Today I will recap 7 games of the last weekend league with you guys where I play it with the Turkish league. I managed to get 39 wins this weekend and I lost again on penalties which you can check on my Twitch channel. I will put the link in the description there you can watch the first 15 games which I streamed. So let's take a quick look at the team that I have used this week. As you guys can see we have got the Turkish league with the 4-2-3-1 narrow formation. Normally I play with the 4-2-3-1 wide formation but I wanted to try the narrow formation this time to see the differences. There was only one big difference this week that I discovered between those two formations which were the wing players. At the narrow formation your two wing players stay much more forward than the wide formation where your wing players come more back on defense. So it was better for me to play with a more attacking wise team as I had Hero Podolski as my left attacking midfielder. Third birthday Wellington as my striker, second inform Snyder at the attacking midfield position and man of the match Musa So at the right attacking midfield. If you guys have some nice and challenging ideas for the upcoming weekend league where I can play with, please let me know in the comment section below. I will choose the most liked comment and play with that team. So let's start with the first game that I want to show you guys. We have a Bundesliga Calcio A Mixed Squad. My opponent had a very good start in this game when he came 1-0 up front. I had to react as fast as possible and I did that with Samuel Ito in the 20th minute. In the 37th minute a pass from Mehmet Topal to Wellington, a Wellington to finish it with the driven shot who makes it 2-1. The 77th minute we have Snyder with the amazing L2 R2 dribbling to Hutchinson, Hutchinson to Quaresma to finish it with his weak foot. The same Quaresma finished the game with a very nice chip goal and I won that game with 4-1. Looking into our next game we face a Calcio A squad with Hikawai, Mertens, El Sharawi up front which is a very nice team. This was the game of Wesley Snyder you will see when he scores his first one in the 21st minute. Musa so with an amazing scoop turn pass to Wesley Snyder. Wesley Snyder with the long shot to make it 2-0 before half time. At the second half, a nice back heel pass from Musa so to Snyder. Snyder back to Musa so. Musa so shields the ball from Alexandro, who makes a penalty for me. And of course, Wesley Snyder to finish his hat trick with a nice chip goal and the Turkey salute, of course. The 76th minute we have got Bruma from the left side who passed to Fensal Abubakar, Abubakar to Snyder who finished it with the 4-0. And right before the end of the game, after the corner, we have got the counter attack and I wanted to score with Snyder to score his 5th goal in the game. And he scores it and we win with 5-0. Game number 24 at the weekend league for me, we face an amazing squad with Ronaldo, Messi and 3rd birthday SBC Torres up front. I thought it would be a very hard game for me but I scored the 1-0 in the 16th minute with Wellington. Podolski in the 31st minute with a shot but the rebound is again for me when Wellington heads it in with the 2-0. Can Wesley Snyder finish a game without scoring a goal? No he can't. Again with a very nice long shot who makes it 3-0 for me and right before half time Snyder again with a very nice pass to Wellington and Wellington to finish it with the driven shot 4-0 and we got a rage quit from our opponent. Looking into our next game we face a nice hybrid squad with Aubameyang wants to watch Dembele and Martial up front when so intercepts the ball, passes to Wellington, Wellington to Snyder who finishes it with the 1-0. Musa so at the second half with the 2-0. 66 minute we have some nice tiki taka play it's hard with a team like this to play with tiki taka style but it worked with this goal when so hits it with a long shot 3 nil the 69th minute we have got samuel eto who passes to atiba hutchinson hutchinson to musa so who takes a very nice touch and finishes it with the 4 nil and right before the end of the game my opponent managed to score the 4-1 Respect for him that he didn't quit and we proceed to 24 wins. Looking forward into our next game, we face player of the month Lukaku, Hazard and SBC Suarez. The 19th minute we have got Wellington 1-on-1 with the goalkeeper, finesses it but hits the crossbar. 
the 22nd minute, Paul Pogba for my opponent who finished it with the 1 0. The 30th minute, Snyder Wellington 1 2, when Snyder gets the ball back but misses the target. But managed to get the ball back, the ball gets to Podolski and Podolski to finish it with the driven shot 1 1. Right before half time, Pogba gets the ball and Serdar Aziz makes the penalty for my opponent. Fernando Muslera is in the goal, so that means we have a penalty killer and he saves the penalty. This game went into extra time when we have got Samuel Eto'o from the right side, waits for the run of Abu Bakar and Abu Bakar to finish it with the 2-1. We finish the game at the 105th minute when we have some nice tiki taka play at the midfield, waiting for the gap. When we have Quaresma who pass to Abu Bakar, Abu Bakar to Eto'o who finishes it with the 3-1. And my opponent has seen enough and we proceed to Elite 1. Looking forward into game number 38 for me at the Weekend League, we face a very, very nice squad with 3 Player of the Month players and 4 SBCs. My opponent had a fresh start in this game when he scores the 1-0 in the 5th minute. I knew it would be a hard job to win this game. He was very dangerous and as you can see I didn't have any shots at the first half so I had to make some changes and brought Eto, Abu Bakr and Quaresma in game. The 54th minute we have got Musa So who passes to Eto who takes it directly but hits the post. The unlucky moment for me. 58th minute finally Musa So with the finesse shot outside the box who makes it 1-1. Quaresma with the shot but this time we hit the crossbar and this was one of my favorite goals of the week. Eto with the cross to Quaresma with a very nice volley with his weak foot. Very nice goal that was. But after the kickoff one of the most hated things in FIFA 17 when you concede after the kickoff 2-2. Two, two. And right before end of the game we have got Abu Bakar from the right side. Shields the ball, takes a ball roll, passes to Musa So who finishes it and we win that game with 3-2. A very nice and important win for me. My last game at the past weekend league I faced this Calcio A squad with Dybala and third birthday Muriel up front. I opened the score in the 33rd minute with Valentin while he scores with his weak foot. The 36th minute Wesley Snyder to finish it with the driven shot 2-0. Before half time my opponent managed to score the 2-1 and I kept some position in the second half and Quaresma to finish it for me 3-1 and we had 39 wins and finished this weekend league. And that's the end of this recap where I showed you guys 7 games of the last weekend league with the best moments and goals. Let's take a look at the stats of several players of my team. We start with man of the match Musa So who was very effective for me this weekend with his 89 pace, 87 dribbling, 83 physical stats which is very important. He was very agile with his 95 agility, he created a lot of chances who made him to 21 goals and 11 assists. We continue with third birthday Samuel Eto, the 90 rated card, 93 pace. He felt a little bit weak, he wasn't very effective at all for me but still managed to score very important goals for me with the 27 goals and 12 assists. Then we have got third birthday Wellington who was surprisingly very good for me. I didn't have him in my main squad at the start of this weekend league but I bought him afterwards with Emenike. Emenike wasn't very useful. So this went my main striker with his 93 pace, 83 shooting, 74 physical stats, bought him for 22k only, 35 games with 29 goals and 21 assists, very very nice stats from Wellington. And we have got the main man of the team, the captain of the team, the best player of the team, Wesley Benjamin Snyder with his 91 passing stats, 89 dribbling, 85 shooting, amazing long shots, amazing shot power. Both him for only 90.5k, he played 37 games and scored 27 goals and made 23 assists. Very good performance from Snyder. As I said at the start of this video, don't forget to comment in the comment section below with which team I should play at the next weekend league. I will pick the most liked comment and play with that team. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you didn't yet and I hope to see you guys back in the new video. Bye bye.